All right, for the month of February, we want to introduce you to a leader who inspires. He is a man who has survived a country torn apart by genocide, years in a refugee camp, in fact, several of them, before finally coming to the U.S., where the successful millennial is now the CEO of a company that employs thousands of people. Valencia Language Network. It's a Roanoke company that employs eight people in-house and thousands of others who can offer 24-7 interpretation services within seconds wherever they're needed throughout the U.S. What I love about being a small business owner is that we learn through failure. A lot of people have a hard or a hard time embracing failure or when they fail they they just simply stop. If I counted how many times I've failed and how many mistakes we've made, oh my goodness, uh, I, we'd be here all day. It's those mistakes that allow Baraka Kasango to build a successful team. Baraka's success, though, stems from his origins in war-torn Rwanda before escaping in 1994. The next seven years brought Baraka and his family through refugee camps in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Burundi, Tanzania, and Zambia, before they finally arrived in the U.S. settling in Roanoke. Uh, the more a person endures challenges, two things are going to happen. It's either we're going to rise above it and grow from that, or it's going to impact us in a negative way and we quit. And for me, in my experience, all of the challenges that I lived through, they, they really helped me to become stronger and grow to the point that I have come. His company evolved from Baraka's early days in the U.S. as a teenager. I started receiving phone calls from local hospitals and social service, uh, government agencies requesting for help in dealing with individuals that spoke the languages that I spoke. Everything to him is his next challenge. He never feels like a victim. He never goes into that space. Any obstacle that he has, he finds a way to work through it with other people. Cortex Leadership Consulting CEO Linda McNutt Foster says one of the many traits Barack obtains, he's coachable and can quickly take what he learns and put it into action. That's the stuff they can't do. And early on, he spent his money on just that, coaching. Cheap is expensive. Trying to save money from, you know, by doing everything yourself, you actually end up spending more time. His advice to other leaders and those who aspire to move forward, remember, you don't need to know everything. This CEO says his company is a perfect example. Salacia provides his live interpretation services thanks to cutting edge technology. Sure, I understand a bit about IT, but I did not develop any of our systems. What I did was put together the vision of what we needed to achieve. The path Baraka Kasango has blazed is just beginning. With the ability to translate hundreds of languages at any given time, he sees a future for Valencia that will one day extend well beyond U.S. borders. All with the success he fuels by his passion to help others. He works incredibly hard. He is a testament to the American dream. Each week we post information online. Just head over to virginiafirst.com, click on sections, and you will find Virginia at Work topics under the community list. And as if being CEO of his own company doesn't bring enough work, Baraka is also a Roanoke firefighter, a father, and a husband. He told me after witnessing war and genocide, he has learned to appreciate the good things he does have and says it's hard to find him having a bad day because he truly feels so blessed. Linda McNutt Foster and Baraka Kasango will join our Good Day Virginia team. That will be tomorrow morning at 730. You don't want to miss that.